Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use a really cool add-on in Blender that allows you to choose two points, so point A and B, and then you're going to use this add-on to just automatically add in a curve for you and you can control things like the sag and um, the, the bevel radius and randomness and things like that. So I'm going to go through how to enable it and then I'm going to show you this example here how to just add cables. By the way, this model here is one of my own and I will be making it available on Patreon. So those of you on Patreon, keep an eye out for this. So uh, without wasting any more time, let's get into this. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to enable the add-on. That's really simple. We're just going to go over here to edit, go down to preferences and then you click on add-ons. You can come up here to your little search window and just type in extra. So once you've clicked on here, typed in extra, you're gonna see these two options come here. Just make sure to enable the top one here, which is add curves, extra objects. Once you've done that, you can close this window and now that add-on is enabled. Now I'm gonna give you a little example here. Now you can use anything you want to, but um, this guy here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select this object here and I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate it and just move it over here to the side. So you can see in this example, I have these two power cables. And I wanna span a cable from here to here. So one of these points here to one of these points here. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the add-on to do this. So what we need to do is select two objects where we can span the cable in between. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my front view, just go Shift A, and I'm gonna go down to empty and add in a cube as an empty. You can use any object, it really doesn't matter. But empties are really good. Then I'm gonna go G, and just move it up here and you're gonna move the empty to whichever point you want the cable to start at. So in this case, I'm gonna put it right here on this guy here, that's where I want the cable to be. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate and then X or Y and just move it over to the side here. And I'm bringing this guy to the place where I want the cable to end, which is on the tip here, just like that. So now that I have these two points A and B selected. I'm gonna hold in shift and make sure both of them are active so they're both selected. And now we can go shift A. If you now go to your curve options and you go all the way to the bottom, you're gonna have a new option here called knots. We're gonna go down and click on catenary. So now you can see it's added in this cable and we have this box over here with some options. So at the moment, it's way too saggy. So let's come over here to this A value here under the slider and we're just gonna bring this value up. So you can see here, the more I'm bringing this up, the less the slack is in the cable. Now you might want a really slack cable, or you want one that's a little bit more tight. So I'm gonna come up and come up to something about 85. Might be different for you depending on the scale of your scene. Once you've done that, this add-on here has some really interesting things. So if you come here to the bevel radius, you can increase it, and now it's gonna add a bevel to this curve. So now it actually has some thickness to it. And that is looking really cool. In fact, if I were to now duplicate this empty, so if I went Shift D, and then I just moved it over to the side here, maybe I want another cable from this point to that point. So I just simply select both of the boxes. And once again, I can go Shift A, go to the curve options, go to knots and catenary. And there it's added in another one. And it remembers my previous um, presets and it adds them in that way for me. And I can do the same thing up here, as you can see. Maybe I want a cable from that point over to this point here, so I'm selecting both of these empties. And then I'm gonna go Shift A, go to Curves, and then Knots, and then Catenary. And you can also come over here under the bevel resolution, by the way. You can make it a lot bigger. And you can also come over here to bevel resolution and up that as well. And you can also come here to this resolution and make the pipe rounder. You can see at the moment it's a little bit too square. And then you can come here to the extrude option and you can extrude it out like this as well if you want a little bit more of a um, oval shape. So I'm just gonna come here, bring down this um, bevel radius a little bit just to make it look more like a cable. And that's a really, really super simple way. And by the way, once you lose this box here, anytime you can just select these guys over here, you can come over to your curves options. And then under the bevel here, under the geometry, you can just continue messing around with this. So you can edit it at any time. So once you're done, just add some materials to your cable and um, it'll look really good. So here you can see very quickly and easily, I've added in some cables 
to this um, these two models over here. By the way, um, this model here is mine and I'm gonna make it available on Patreon. So feel free to check that out in the description below. I hope you guys have found this tutorial useful about this little add-on here that you get in Blender. And if you do, make something really cool with it and I will see you guys next time for another tutorial.